Hello everyone, um, today I want to uh, talk a little bit about one problem solution that I, I recently did for a project that I, I was working on. Um, so the project involved uh, React Native, React Native Web responsive uh, design and service and rendering. So the idea was to like the whole stack uh, was made with React Native Web and a technology called Aven, Aven Cloud, and all the components, all the like presentational components or layout components were built from React Native and using React Native Web to render some of those on on the web. So I was my task, my my goal uh, was to build the new landing page for this project and uh, I needed to use that stack so the main issue here is that if you are familiar with React Native Web and, and how does it work uh, it's, it's it's not easy to to do responsive web design with with React Native Web just as it is like, of course you can use like some utilities and, and some props like on layout or or uh, the dimensions API, but uh, those are some those are one of two constraints that I that I had. I was not able to use those either the own layout or the dimensions API because uh, this website was going to be rendered uh, server side. So that means that no dimensions or own layout like. Uh, sizes for a window will be available on on the server part so i needed to find a solution to send the the all the styles that this website needs in order to render either on a phone or on a desktop uh computer or whatever so so yeah let me let me show you um let me show you the the solution the um, the result so if here you see that this is like the website that we built uh i say we because uh this project like the lead uh, tech uh, developer here is eric vicenti he's uh, a previous facebook developer he built also react navigation he created react navigation and he's a pretty smart guy so I was fortunate to work with him on this. So you see that we we have plenty of things here on this website. You can do like different uh, layouts and you see that the layout changes. So the size of the fruits and the menu, you can see that it did changes to this hamburger menu. Uh, so it's responsive and it's also, uh, uh, if I do dot .u, um, that is is server side rendered so it's everything come from the server it, it's of course a lot of code but um this is how it is like uh the stack um was this one so we needed to work with that and we made it we make it work we made it work so it, it's it's working so it's it's online and it's it's not perfect but at least it's over there so it's working so um I've been uh, like I, I have style system here like uh, pop up because um, I've been using style system for a, quite a while now, and I think it's one of the like the best libraries like to build uh, responsive uh, design systems in in on the web, and that's that's the key thing on the web because some of the like the cool features about uh, one of the cool features about design system, like style system and all the tools around style system is their array props um, syntax so it's something like this you have box and then you can pass uh, a number or a, a, a single value or an array of values to specific props and this is super powerful because that's that's tied to breakpoints that you define on your on your theme in your in your website um, 
and this will tie to the small breakpoint, the medium, the large, and the extra large. So you see that there are four values here, and it's super cool. Like it's 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 just amazing. And and here, um, Brent Jackson, the creator of Style System, I think he's the creator. I don't know if he uh, it. Like I certainly started listening about style system and all rebas and all these tools uh, from him. So he, their motivations or the origins about this uh, to take this uh, to create this API comes from uh, the how we use classes, uh, CSS classes, the web, HTML on the web. So. The problem here is that this is pretty tied with uh, this is coupled to one platform and when we're talking about different platforms and also like involving technology like technologies or features like server-side rendering um, this just falls apart so um, this is actually the, the 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 API that I wanted to build and I'm gonna show you like uh, the actual uh, this is the implementation and yeah, I need to stop also um, the code. Here. Open. Here, yeah. So you see here, like the the component that I was showing here, the responsive component, is is the component that I built to to achieve this server side render responsive um, uh, uh, CSS with um, with uh, server side rendering. So. This is the implementation. This is how you use them. So you see that you have a responsive component and you can pass a style prop. This style prop receives an object, but that object uh, expects values or attributes that are uh, arrays. So in this case, what I'm saying is that for the max width CSS attribute, uh, for the small breakpoint, uh use 100 uh, percent and for the medium or the the last breakpoint use 412 and the thing is that this style or this responsive style will be applied to um to the to the children so if we go let's go to the website and you see how it's been applied so let me So here, yeah. Okay, so you go. Okay. This is one. So you see here that this is the element, this is the diff, or in this case I'm showing a different one, but this is a view component. That view component with React Native Web will be will be translated into a div. So, a React Native Web will add all these classes uh, that adds uh, different like attributes, CSS attributes. So, but um, the responsive component what we'll do is to create this style tag and generate a, a unique um, class. And add this uh, add this CSS here in line. So, but not only the the it will add uh, a set of styles for each breakpoint. So you see that I have the media width uh, for the second breakpoint and whatever, and we can see in the implementation. So you can see in the implementation we are taking we're doing a, a mapping through the styles that. I'm uh, that we are defining on the component and then we're creating this uh, template uh, literal this string 
and then we add that to a style component uh, at the end and then we clone the children to add the class name that I generated with these styles so um, if we go and see the dashboard components that are the components that are uh, cross-platform that we use for not only the, this landing page but also some of the iPad applications that are that are used um, here we see we have responsive.js that is the main responsive component that for now is is pretty tied to web see that I'm adding a style tag this is pretty tied to the web but also we, ha we have this stub react responsive.native because maybe on native side we want to do something different and for now what we're doing is just render the first breakpoint of of the of the style so uh, if we can see here like for for web for web we're we're taking both and we're generating this style tag but for react native on, on mobile we're using just the first um first elements um so yeah i hope uh, well this is this is not the best solution, but again, this is a working solution and I hope uh, this video or this explain will inspire someone else to, to, to reach out and, and, and work together and maybe we can find a better solution. Like my, the main goal was to, well, my, my ideal API was to have like something like this and do not rely on any responsive then on each uh, platform like do whatever depending on on which target we are we are uh which platform we are targeting so uh but i'm not that smart <laughs> and i didn't have too much time to work on it so um so yeah uh, if you have any ideas or you think uh like there's some like space to improve or or anything please let me know i would love to uh, get feedback from it i i had some conversations with people around that and i see some solutions like out there but they're they they didn't quite uh like work for, for with the constraints that i had so that's why i needed to build my own thing but um like if you want to do proper service at rendering uh using responsive like react native web uh on 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 every platform if you don't rely on the on the dimensions api or the or the own layout prop uh it, it's it's tricky it's a, it's a harder uh like path and that's that's the path that i needed to go to go through so this is the solution hope you like it hope it, it was like um it, it makes sense if you if you need uh, like uh, more explanation or there's something that you don't understand please let me know uh the repo is is uh is open so you can go I, i'm actually gonna link this component in the description and and yeah please uh give give me some feedback about it and let me know what you think thanks